Hey guys, Upstand, you're back with a new video for you guys. This is a uh, live commentary one for the first time in a while, which is kind of strange because this is usually the format I do where I'm just... Live commentary means you're playing and you're talking at the same time. Uh, my last few videos, like the hilt split and everything, that was uh, all just, you know, clips edited together. And uh, the advantage, disadvantage of that is it takes a lot longer to make and you also need to gather those clips. This is pretty easy to make. So anyway, guys, a lot of you guys ask me how do I make money. I get this question in my clan chat all the time. My clan chat, Andrew AJT62, by the way, same as my YouTube name. Um, so, how do you make money? Um, there's lots of ways to do it, and one that I'd recommend everyone does, there's no reason not to do this, is uh, managing miscellanea. Basically, what this is, is you have your own little kingdom, and they will actually collect um, resources for you. And you can sell those resources and make actually quite a lot of money. Um, I would roughly estimate it at around. I'd say 200k a day and what's great about this is that you don't actually really have to do much um, they gather the resources for you and you pretty much just let them do it and uh, you just check back every once in a while you collect your shit and you sell it and you're good you don't have to do a lot of work so uh, the two things you need to, to uh, do this is the uh, throne of miscellanea this is the first quest and you can actually start doing uh, this collection process after the Throne of Miscellany, but I really recommend you guys do Royal Trouble as well because that'll mean you actually get more resources. And both of, the, both of these quests are not very long uh, and they're pretty easy and I believe they're safe for pures. I don't think they give any defense XP um, or anything you have to worry about with that. Um, so those quests are extremely easy. They're very quick quests. I mean, they're medium length but extremely worth doing, not very hard at all. Um, so get those quests done and then you can begin. So you'll need at least 750k cash to start with, um, but don't worry, you're going to make your money back very soon. And just make sure you have either a rune pickaxe or a rune axe. Uh, any metal will work, but uh, it's easier if you have a uh, rune or, or, or even dragon if you have the money for that. Um, just to, uh, for you'll see very soon. To, so to actually get to Miscellanea, um, by the way, the, the, there are uh, guides for those quests. I'll link in the description to uh, RuneScape Wiki. Um, very easy quest, but make sure you just use a guide so you know what items to bring. The easiest way to get to Miscellanea is just to use fairy rings. As you see here, you just put in uh, CIP. It's nice because these letters are already done for you. And then you're, uh, you're here. So the first thing you do after those, after you complete those quests is you want to get something called your approval rating up to uh, 100%. Let me see what my approval rating is now. So if you go up here, you can talk to this guy, uh, Advisor Grimm, and he's kind of like your guide for this whole thing. Again, it's very easy. It might seem complicated if, you, if this is, you've never tried this before, but it's actually not too difficult once you understand the concept. Uh, the only thing, actually, you, I think you do need to have the Heroes quest done to uh, get through that door to start the first quest. So this might not be applicable to one defense pures. Uh, but, you know, the XP rewards are all on RuneScape Wiki, so you can kind of check for yourself. And uh, let me check that right now. Yes, you do need the Heroes quest done, which gives like 3,000, or actually 2,500 defense experience. Um, so you should be okay if you're a uh, Zerker peer or Rune peer, but if you're a one defense peer, this is, not, unfor this is unfortunately not going to apply to you. But this video actually does apply to uh, RuneScape 3 as well. Um, and the quests themselves don't, get any, don't give any defense experience. The second one gives some a little bit of HP experience, but uh, for any type of pure, that's fine because you get HP experience when you PK. So anyway, talk to this guy, and he's going to tell you... You're going to ask him, how's the kingdom faring? And he's going to tell you your current approval rating is 96%. Or actually, when you f first complete the quest, it'll be at like 25% or something pretty low. <coughs> Sorry, I'm sick, by the way, if I sound a little bit different. So you have to basically get that to 100. So to get your approval rating up, um, you want to get it to 100, like I said. Do not do anything bad on this island or your approval rating will, will plummet. This island is like very strange. There's a lot of people who are like level 1. They'll, all these people have 1 hit points, so careful that you don't kill any of them. Don't steal anything. You know, this is like a really weird place in RuneScape, so just kind of go with it. So the best way to get your approval rating up is to either 
mine these rocks, these coal rocks, or uh, if your wood cutting is a little bit higher, you can cut these maple trees. I choose to cut the maple trees because my wood cutting level is higher. I have the uh, quest cape requirement wood cutting level and the quest cape requirement mining level, so uh, my wood cutting level is a bit higher and these will uh, cut. And you don't get any logs and you barely get any experience. Uh, but every time you cut one log or mine one ore, you'll get 1% approval rating. And the goal is just to get it to 100%. So uh, you'll see what happens actually when you get it to 100%. So when you get to 100%, the people will stop you and you won't be able to do any more. And that's when you know you're at 100, so you're good to go. So uh, this is where it gets a little bit complicated, but like I said, it's really easy and you'll pick up on the concept really fast. So after, after you, do, you finish this quest, you get 100% approval rating, go up back to the guy. So talk to this guy. Let's see, how's the kingdom faring? I'm going to say no to this for now. And he's going to show you how everyone's doing, you know, what resources your kingdom is collecting. So when you first start out and you have those both quests done, you'll have 15 guys that are just sitting around doing nothing. So you want to put your first 10 guys onto wood, and they're going to collect maple logs. But what's good about them collecting maple logs is that they're also going to get bird's nests. And from bird's nests, you get uh, seeds. And even the nests themselves are worth a lot if you cut them, if you uh, grind them down. And if you, what's great about if you do the throw on a, if the uh, do the quest royal trouble, you'll get five guys from Ecteria, which is the other island. I just had a burger at Five Guys the other day, by the way. It was fantastic, and I put those guys in mining. And there you go. Your guys are all set. Now, your your coffer is going to look something like this. You're going to have like no money in it. I think it gives you like 10k, but basically. Um, they do require money to collect these resources, but it's a very small amount of money for what you'll actually be earning from the kingdom. So basically, they're going to take 10% of um, your coffer every day, and they're going to uh, use that to collect resources. Now, they actually, so let's say I have 500k in there. Then every day, they're going to take 50k and then the next day they'll take 10% of 450k and on like that. Now the more money they take um, the more resources they give but the cap of how much money they can um, take is 75k so you want them actually to take 75k every day and that means that you always want more than 750k in the coffer um, so that 10% of 750k is 75k and their cap is 75k, so you're actually free to put more in. So let's go ahead and put one more mill in. And you never want them to you never want this number to go below 750k. They're gonna take 70 75k every day. So tomorrow it'll be at one mil and six hundred and seventy-five thousand. And the next day it'll be one point six mil, then one thousand five twenty-five K, etc. etc. And as long as you keep this number above 750k, you're good. If you have a lot of money, I recommend you just put it put it all in here, because then you won't have to keep adding more. Um, if you're a little bit on the low side of money, uh, put as much money as you can in there. You know, 750k if you have it, or less um, if you have if you don't even have that much to start with, and then just sell the resources and get more money and put it in. Now with collecting. Basically, your approval rating is going to go down 1% every day. And you don't have to come back and get the approval rating until you actually collect. So I just got my approval rating to 100%, and now I'm okay to collect my resources. They will collect the resources for you every day, but they'll hold on to them to you. So you can actually just leave this for weeks at a time, uh, as long as you have enough money in the coffer, and they'll just keep collecting. Your approval rating will go down 1% every day, uh, but you don't need to keep replenishing it every day. It, it'll barely make a difference. So when you collect, just make sure you have 100% approval rating, as I have now. So let's collect. Let's see what we got. I think I've left this for a few weeks. Yes. And let's see. Of the loot. Holy shit. We got 15,000 maple logs and 88 bird's nests with seeds in them and 4,700 coal, which is a lot of money. So let's send that to the bank and uh, yeah so just make sure you have enough money in there 
So that may have actually seemed pretty confusing, but all you need to know is that you need to make sure this coffer always stays above 750k um, if you can afford it, and make sure that you have a 100% approval rating uh, when before you collect your uh, your loot. So anyway, let's go to what you have to do now. This is kind of the annoying part. Uh, go to your bank first of all. If you forget to teleport like I did, if you go to uh, right now we're on Miscellanea. If you go to Ectoria, which is the island east of here, there is actually a bank. So I'm going to go use that. So now what you got to do is you got to take these bird's nests. And I usually take around 14 at a time and you just loot all the seeds. And you, hopefully you want to get magic seeds, but the other seeds are worth a lot anyway. So it's not too bad if you don't get magic seeds. But magic seeds are like a free 150k or so. So uh, I'll get back to you when I've looted all these seeds. And uh, also you do want to take all of uh, the rings out of the bird's nest. Um, and also you can make sure you take these out as well. These are god eggs, but there's no summoning in 2007, so they're actually completely useless items. But you never know if, we, if we'll ever have a summoning related update. I'm not sure that I, I'd want that, but you never know, so I recommend you do hold on to those eggs. So with the, uh, some of the seeds are pretty crappy, you can just drop these. Uh, they're not really worth much. So anyway, moving on. So once you took all your seeds out, and we got quite nice selection of seeds here. We got one magic seed, some maples, willows, things like that. Uh, you're going to have to grind down these nests. And what's annoying about this, if you're on 07, you have to do it manually. And the easiest way to do it is like this. But uh, it is quite annoying to do. And the birds' nests themselves are not tradable, so you do have to resort to doing this to sell them. So this is what we got from uh, all of our miscellaneous loot. 153 cross nests, about 5,000 coal, 15,000 maple logs, and a bunch of seeds. So what you want to do is go on uh, Zybez or SRS price guide, and you want to post offers for all these. Uh, now, this can take quite a while to sell all of them, but uh, you're making... You know, it shouldn't take too long, and, uh, you know, you'll get buy-sell offers pretty quickly, so you'll just be constantly trading. But uh, this is why some people have suggested that we need some sort of a trade solution in old school. So I'm going to go sell all this. It's going to take a while, but I'll get back to you guys when I sell all of it, and I'll show you exactly how much cash I made. So after around 45 minutes of selling all that crap, or actually pretty good items, uh, we got a little over 4 mil, which is very good profit. Um, like I said, it does take 75k a day, um, but that's not really a lot when you consider how much we made. I left it for maybe two weeks or so, so my profit was maybe around 3 mil. And for doing nothing, that's that's really fantastic. So miscellaneous, it's almost like a little bit of like a, a pension you get in RuneScape, but it's just in the form of, uh, of items that you have to sell. And it can be tedious, and that is why... Um, you generally want to wait as long as possible to collect just so you can, you know, waste. If you're collecting your items every day, that's fine, except that you're going to waste a lot of time selling like 10 crushed nests when you could just wait a few weeks and sell hundreds at a time and you won't have to go through this selling process that often. But Zybes certainly helps out. And uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. So, you know, a lot of my money has been made just from miscellaneous. I got the nice 20 mil stack now. Um, it's certainly something I recommend. All you got to need to know is get your approval rating to 100% uh, before you collect, and uh, always keep the coffer above 750k. And also, you know, the, the minor details where how to put your workers into different things; those are covered earlier in the video. So, anyway, guys, all the links um, that I mentioned in this video will be in the description. Links to the guide on the quests. Uh, links to the I'll link the RuneScape wiki page on how to manage miscellaneous, just uh, general things there, and uh, also the Zybez OSRS price guide for selling all your shit. But otherwise, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, but other than that, please like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already, join the clan chat, Andrew AJT62. It's the same as, it's not the same as my RuneScape name, it's the same as my YouTube name. So just look at my YouTube name, and that's the clan chat, and feel free to join and hang out. And uh, also you can follow me on Twitch and Twitter down below. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.